this is not what I'd be wanting to wear to film this video, but it's fine. Hello guys, look, I need to pack for a trip. First things first, you guys must know that I am a notorious overpacker. I, it's something that I own, I'm not ashamed of it anymore, I just, it happens, but that's okay. Cause I think doing this video will help me make sure that I don't overpack and I'm gonna show you guys things that I do that have been helping me work on that little quality of mine. We just wanna make sure that we're being purposeful and functional while also making sure that we can be trendy and fun and fresh and flirty and all those fun things. To be fair, my explanation for the overpacking thing, the way I get excited about trips, get excited for what I get to wear on the trip. You can see how that kind of goes hand in hand with like, oh, I'm so excited to wear this and this and this and this and this and this and this. And then before you know it, I have so many things just laying on my bed, which brings me to actually my first point of what I do whenever I pack for trips. I like to put everything, all the outfits and articles of clothing that I need to bring and I want to bring out on my bed so that I just get a full overview view of what I'm looking at, the situation that I'm working with. This is an example of like everything being laid out. I like to set stuff out in sections. So here I have my shirts and then here I have stuff that would hang plus a pair of pants that I want to wear with a specific outfit. So many fall things when I go. I have some hanging dresses and stuff there. A host of other things that I'll go through in just a second. That kind of goes along with my second tip. So like once you've decided everything that you want to bring, go back and make sure that you're not missing some of the necessities because that has happened to me time and time again. It happened to me when I went on the cruise a couple months ago. It happens to me literally just on weekend excursions, trips, and I want to wear something or bring something specific. And I just completely overlook, oh, what am I going to wear with that? Sometimes I don't even bring whole outfits. It's just a complete mistake. Make sure that you have everything that you need in addition to the things that you want. So I'm going to New York tomorrow and I actually just got back from a music festival yesterday. Really quick turnaround here. I don't really know who I think I am, but I'm going to New York tomorrow nonetheless. For some reason, I kind of end up going all the time. I don't really know. Anyways, I have not packed it all. Like I said, very quick turnaround and I need to do this really quick. So we're going to try and keep this under 40 minutes. So I think I'm just going to take you guys along with me packing. I wanted to do this carry on big Victoria's Secret bag because I am only going for a few days. I just don't know. Like I know I could fit everything in there. Honestly, I'm worried that it wouldn't fit in the carry on cabins in the plane. So I'm just not sure I need to consult with someone. I'm leaning towards more using this duffel, which I've never done before. I usually take my big suitcase, so I just don't know. But here we go. These are the things that I've rolled so far. Um, I love this skirt and I never, it's just such an October vibe. I might wear this when we go see Wicked. And I'm also so excited to see Wicked because I have seen other Broadway shows, but I feel like Wicked is such a staple and I have not yet seen it. And it's just such a witchy vibe. So I'm so excited to see that. But I wanted to show you these two clothing items. This is obviously from Forever 21, but this was a gift. Cute sort of businessy looking but also like chic, trendy shirt. Like the cut of this shirt is very cute and girly, but also like the material is like just so cute. So I kind of want to bring some pants that might match this and wear like a suit type of thing. But I don't know, like with a hat, oh, it might be a moment. I'm excited to see how I end up styling it because I'm honestly not sure how I will yet. I also wanted to show you this. It's a long sleeve mesh bodysuit and it's so cute. I have no excuse to wear anywhere except for like if I was going to go out, which I probably will wear it again this season to go out. And I really want to wear it with this to Wicked maybe because I just feel like that's such a vibe. So, so I actually just thought of this. You can see that I have like my outfits now rolled together. I use these little packing squares. They're really cheap. I literally got these ones from Walmart and they were like $6 for maybe three. So I have this one. This one has like socks and my makeup wipes and my vitamins. And then this one, I might put a couple of outfits in and it's actually double layered so I can put a lot of stuff in here. So I'll put like one or two outfits in here. Go ahead and zip that up. Flip the other side and then I can put, we'll just do this one outfit. That's perfect. Ooh, now I have three whole outfits just squared away in this little packing square and I really love the idea of coupling up those outfits like that because it just makes things so much easier to have the whole comprehensive idea together that we can just throw it on and you know it already looks good not worrying about like oh where's this one article of clothing that I wanted to wear with this it's already together nice and ready to go for you whenever you need it in this 
bad boy up here and move it to the ground because I'm about to put my shoes in. Bringing these filas, these I'm gonna wear on the plane tomorrow, so I might just wear these home today. I was going back and forth whether or not I was going to take my thigh highs in. I just have to, you guys. Like, I never get the opportunity to wear them in Texas, so I'm gonna roll them up, and honestly, they don't take that up that much space. Two other pairs of shoes. I have these, because these are just a staple, more neutral pair, just to deviate from the other black booties that I always wear in New York, but they're amazing. They're like the best height, and they're so nice. I forget where I got them from, though, because I love wearing these. I feel like such a bad, a bad you know what when I wear these. <laughs> I just realized that there's a lot of things that I was going to put in my kit in my carry-on duffel bag that is like too big because usually I'm used to being able to bring larger size liquids because I always bring the suitcase. So long story short, I'm bringing the suitcase. So here we are. This should hold everything. <laughs> I'm packing, we're getting ready to gussy up and leave. I'm gonna show you guys my carry-on. I always just use my school backpack. It's an oldie, but it's a goodie. I just wanna show you guys really quickly the typical things that I put in there, but it's pretty consistent every time I do go on the plane, so let's just check that out really quick. Um, I would take my planner. This thing is everything to me, but I don't think, I don't foresee myself needing it really or using it while I'm there, so I'm not gonna bring it, but I always, always bring my laptop so I can edit videos like this on the plane, so that's a must. Sometimes I do like to bring school stuff so these are journals for a couple of the class a couple of the classes that I might work on when I have downtime just in the hotel room in the morning so I'm gonna take that with me as well I always like to have my hard drive because my laptop has zero space so that's always good of course deodorant travel pillow needs to happen it's purple of course I typically will also have my chargers and stuff I don't have them all all combined but just know that I always am bringing my camera charger my passport is right here my wristlet wallet I just really like to have the most important things with me in my carry-on and my purse or whatever sometimes I also bring this sketchbook if I want if I know I want to plan videos but I have two videos that I will need to be working on while I'm during the process of my trip and then I always have my water bottle with me too it's getting more stickers on it guys subscribe to see this water bottle fill up in 30 under 40 minutes i don't know i've been here for a while trying to film this video i actually didn't even time it hope you had fun watching me pack as always if you vibe don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you all back on my channel for my next video see you guys later bye